Hi guys, it's Prischu from Prischu.com here and this morning I am running the Seoul Marathon 2024. The start point for the Seoul Marathon is at Guanghuaman Square which was quite easy to get to from Myeongdong area where our hotel was based. So we took the train one stop to City Hall and then from there we followed all the runners to get to the race area. It was pretty easy as everybody was heading in the same direction. With the race first flag off at 8am, we were advised to reach the start point at around 7am. So now this is the second oldest marathon in the world behind the Boston Marathon and I am at the race site now. It is looking pretty crowded. There are a lot of runners here and everybody is in very high spirits and looking forward to starting the race. So we are going to see at 8am onwards how the race goes for me. As you can see, the race area was already pretty packed by the time we got there. We went to the baggage deposit to drop off our bags and then after that, it was a wait in the freezing 7 degrees cold before the race started. I headed into my start pen around 7.30 and soon after I went into the start pen, it gradually became very full. As you can see, I'm wearing this long sleeve top in order to stay warm at the start. It is nowhere near warm enough though because I was pretty much still freezing. This is the start pen just before 8am. As you can see, it is pretty crowded with not much space to move. So far, trust in my training and try not to stress too much and I hope everything will be okay. I will catch up with you again after the race. See you. This is Prischu from Prischu.com. My wave which was in pen C was flagged off at 8 minutes past 8. So we had to start 8 minutes after the very first flag off. I would say that the first bit was very crowded and it took me about 3 kilometers to settle into the target pace that I wanted to go at. My first kilometer was very slow because there were very large crowds and everybody was blocking the paths which were actually pretty narrow. I am trying my best to enjoy the run but the fact that I have 42.195 kilometers to run is not lost on me and I am trying not to think about the sheer distance in the early stages.
In the early stages, I am trying to maintain about 510 per kilometer pace, which was pretty okay in the first half. But then in the second half, I was feeling my pace dropping and I had to make the decision to either try to force my way through and risk not being able to run and have to walk or else I could slow down the pace and just try to maintain as best as I could. I chose to slow down and try to maintain. I eventually finished the race in 3 hours 53 minutes and 51 seconds which is still under 4 hours so I guess I would take it. It was not the most perfect of races but it was still a pretty decent timing. Hi guys, it's Prisju from Prisju.com back here and I have just completed the Seoul Marathon 2024 so I finished the marathon in a timing of 3 hours 53 minutes which I guess is a decent timing for the conditions that we experienced along the route so the weather was quite cool starting at about 5 to 7 degrees and finishing at about 12 13 degrees so the second half was pretty warm and there was the sun that came out which increased the temperature so it was quite warm and then those who say that Seoul Marathon is flat is not flat. There were a lot of small inclines going up and down. So that kind of took a toll on the legs as well. So I started at around 510 pace. But then after the halfway mark, I couldn't really hold the pace. So I actually felt my pace gradually dropping. So I think I kind of felt my legs like seizing up in the last kilometer or so as well. And when I reached the finish line, my legs completely seized up. But at least I managed to finish the race first. The finish area was pretty packed and there were quite a lot of runners who had already finished by the time I went through. So they were pretty generous with the finisher entitlements and apart from our race medal, we received plenty of stuff such as a bun, a chocolate pie, oat side, oat milk, a banana amongst others. And actually during the race itself, there were bananas as well as chocolate pies being given out for us to fuel ourselves during the route. I took some chocolate pie. This is the free flow of Pokari sweat that runners received after the race. We could take as many cups as we wanted. Pokari sweat is among my favorite isotonic drinks, so it was definitely up my alleyway. I will say that one of the improvements that the organizers could make is that they could make it more clear as to exactly what entitlements were being given out and when the entitlements were given out because I originally missed a number of entitlements at first and I only realized when I saw people walking away with them so I had to backtrack and pick up my entitlements. I think there should be clear signages on what is being given out and where so that we don't miss stuff I guess.
this is the finisher medal and shirt for the Seoul Marathon 2024. To be honest, the designs could actually be better. The medal seems very simplistic and not very well thought out and the finisher shirt is apparently unisex so they don't even have women's sizing. I am also not a fan of the long sleeve. The route was not the most scenic of routes, I must say. If you are looking for a cold weather race in a country that is not too far away from Singapore, you can consider the Seoul Marathon, even though I would probably say that there are other better options out there. Spectator support was not the best, even though it is much better than what you experience in Singapore. I have experienced better spectators in other countries such as Europe or US where the spectators are literally amazing here not so much it was definitely an experience my first time running the Seoul Marathon <laughs> It was a painful experience going down the stairs to the subway after completing the marathon when my legs weren't working. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pris Chu from PrisChu.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel at PrisChu.com. Until then, I will catch up with you in my next video. See you and bye-bye.